What's going on everybody? My name is Rocco. I'm a reseller. Um, I quit my job six months ago. Um, somebody put me on to reselling and I started it while I was working. I was working full time, reselling part time and it got to the point where I said, you know, what am I doing? So I've been driving forklift for years and I said, you know what, I'm done. I'm just going to, this is something that I love. It's my passion and I'm going to show you what's up. Okay, first, um, I usually go to Goodwill, Salvation Army, etc. Some places don't like you talking about reselling and they give you the boot, whatever. Um, I'm going to show you some things that sell. Um, I, I like to sell mostly men's clothing, but I will pick up women's occasionally. I'm going to show you some ties that, that generally do well. Um, shout out to everybody that I watch. Um, um, Tino, the sole advisor, um, Rake and Profit, uh, Rockstar Flipper, all those people that I've been watching for months and months, and uh, they've really been a big inspiration, and it, you can do it. This is something that you can do. If you want to, you know, get rid of the everyday grind and, and do your own kind of grind and make money to your potential and... It's just, you can do it, you know, you can do anything you want to do, you can, just as long as you put your mind to it, you can do anything. That's what I tell my kids. I got five kids. Three boys and two girls, and they're all a pain in my butt. But anyway, let's get to it. We're going to start with ties. Okay, here we go. Um, normally, I don't like to pick up certain ties unless I know they're going to sell like Brooks Brothers. Um, ties are long-term. They'll sit for a long time. You just got to be patient. Um, this one is, let me see if we can show you, Nina Ricci. Um, just your basic tie, but it had the tag on it, so I grabbed it up. Um, probably 10 bucks. We're going to keep moving. Um, there you go. Joseph A. Bank. Um, this is a good one. Made in Italy. Um, there's all different kinds there's signature gold there's all different ones but they do very well and every time I find them they're in really good condition they're almost new um, 10 or 15 bucks you know just depends like I said you gotta hit the jackpot with a tie you know which I did yesterday <laughs> the day before Robert Talbot this is Nor Nordstrom it's a pretty nice design not too bad. It's like a uh, the abstract, or you know, it's not geometric. I think it's an abstract. But anyway, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Uh, hunting horn. Hunting horn. They make nice uh, J riggings. They make nice clothing. Nice. Uh, there you go. Can I get it straight? There you go. J riggings. Hunting horn. It's a nice tie. Ten bucks. Something like that, but um, I'm going to show you the other, after I do these ties, I'm going to show you the haul that I just got today. And uh, I spent $22. $22, I got two bags of clothes. Um, this I picked up a while ago. This is, this is listed. Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia, um, Jay Garcia, they do pretty well. Sometimes they take a while to sell, but they generally do pretty well. Uh, what else we got here? We got another Robert Talbot. Talbot? Is that how you pronounce it? Can I can I find it? Can I find it? There it is. All right. It's a decent design. A little stripe. Stripe design. These ties, I don't know. I haven't really been paying too much attention to them. They haven't really been selling like that. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not pricing them right. Brooks Brothers. Love Brooks Brothers does well. Um, Brooks Brothers Makers is a decent design. I picked this up um, yesterday, I believe. Ties I pay like a dollar, dollar fifty for. I usually don't pay more than that for them because it ain't worth it. You're not going to make no money. Mm. Here's another, here's a brand you're going to want to look out for. I'm sure if you guys are already selling, if you're new, if you're not, um, if you are new, it's a uh, Armena Gilda Zegna. It's made in Italy. They do very well. Not sure about the ties. I actually found two ties in one spot. 
It's a pretty nice design. Just an abstract, whatever. Maybe $15, $20, probably more. Depending on, you know, ties are, are weird because um, certain people like lengths, like I, I, I would think the longer the better, but the width is kind of going in and out. Like I, I think I read a while back that the, um, I believe the widths, the style is, is getting skinnier, they're getting smaller. So usually a, a, a wide tie is four inches. Um, a, a smaller tie is anywhere from like two inches to like three, three and a half, three and a quarter, something like that. I'm not a tie genius, I, I don't know, but there's the tag. Armena Gilda Zegna. Beautiful ties, 100% silk. They're the best, made in Italy, 100% silk. They're, a lot of ties are 100% silk, made in Italy. You can find them in Walmart, but these are designer. Okay, definitely a, a, one you want to look out for, Hugo Boss. Does pretty well. This one's listed. This one's on my uh, eBay. It's in my eBay store, and that is uh, that is eBay stores. Um, Rocks One Boutique. Haven't figured out the whole, you know, leaving the link in the description and all that crap yet. Um, I'm working on it, so bear with me. Another good one you want to look out for. It's a Jerry Garcia. It's, um, what was it called? I was looking at it today. Banyan, Banyan trees. I was looking them up on the internet. They're these real big, huge, big ass trees. Um, there's the design. It's pretty cool. It's like a floral, some kind of floral design, whatever. But I'm going to try to get through these a little bit quicker. I don't want the video. Now here's one that I'm really not sure. I've had this tie for a while. I kind of want to put it out there. Maybe somebody can tell me who makes this tie. It's like an oriental design. I'm not really sure who or what makes it. If you do know, please, you know, leave a comment. Let me know who the hell makes this damn tie. It's all good. It's listed. Maybe it'll sell. Here's another very good brand you might want to keep an eye out for. Gianni Versace. I found this tie the other day. Early bird gets the worm. I've been leaving late. I've been trying to tell my old lady, my wife, um, that if I leave early and I'm there on time and the door's open, you know, I'm going to find things because there's, there's competition. There's not that much competition, not like you would think there would be. Not everybody is willing to do this. There's a lot of grunt work. I do a lot of suits, a lot of measuring. You gotta be accurate. You don't want things to get returned. You have to measure right. Here's another, another Joseph A. Bank corporate collection. It's a nice tie. Not too bad. They probably do about 15 bucks. I might take an offer on a tie. I know a tie, most ties are only gonna sell for 10 bucks. You know, depending, but these, these bank ties, Joseph A. Bank, they do pretty good. This is another one made in Italy. This one is new with tags. This is brand new. Or new without tags, I'm sorry. It doesn't have the tag, but I know it's new. I can tell. Um, one more tie. I actually got some ties out. Here's another, another, another Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers Makers all silk. Um, I have not seen one with the the silk tag in group, you know, the whatever you want to call it. Ingredient, whatever it is. <clears throat> it's usually right here, it's right on there, all silk. Brooks Brothers does very well. I do pretty good with Brooks Brothers. I, I just picked up a silk blend blazer pretty nice but let's get into this this stuff that I just got all right I'm back Jack here we go um this is what I picked up today $22 on this haul um, some things are things I would normally not pick up but since they were like a quarter a dollar some items were only a quarter um, it goes by some of them have 
you know, different tags on them, whatever. Um, these are, I believe these are Lee. These are just Lee, just whatever, Lee, Lee casuals. They're just women's pants. They're new, that's why I picked them up. They're, they're like brand new. So, we'll see, whatever. 10, 15 bucks. But, for, for 25 cents, give me that. Alright, I'm running out of room over there. I got so much stuff. Scrubs, you want to pick scrubs up? I'll pick the scrub up if it's a dollar or less because I know there's room for, there's room there to make money. I usually post them between 9 and $16. I don't do free shipping anymore. I did free shipping for a while and then it's not for me. So some people it works. It worked for me for a little while and then I do a lot of auctions so I don't like to keep you have to you have to keep editing your your posts. So your listings, you got to edit them all the time when you do that. So when you go back and forth from from uh, from auction to buy it now listings, you have to keep editing and I keep losing things people keep sniping my stuff but anyway you live and you learn I'm still learning we learn every day this is peaches whatever it's just a scrub no, that looks like crap my bad peaches it's just a regular scrub it is what it is let's see there you go you can't see my face all right ten bucks maybe a little bit more um, this was silk and it was only a quarter. I couldn't resist. I have to do some more research on this. Ryan Michael, I believe it's it's 100% silk, but here's what the tag looks like. I don't know. This is a hit or miss. So it is a, it is a pearl snap. So that's a bonus. Pearl snaps do very well. Levi's pearl snaps in particular. I'm selling. I sell them constantly. Every time I see one, if I can get it for two two bucks. 250 half off half off days Wednesdays so you know this is all this is Western too I've never seen a Western 100% silk shirt so this is interesting this may do well maybe 20 bucks we'll see it is what it is bruh and this is awesome I couldn't resist the price this is guests everybody knows guests you know well, Oh, my bad. Everybody knows that. I, I I find vintage guess a lot. Um, it's not really selling. Vintage is supposed to be really selling. I think I'm pricing a little too high with the Tommy Hill figure, and but uh, we'll see. I think I'm gonna lower them down a little bit. I think I'm asking too much for the pants. Haven't really found any Tommy home run items. I did find a nice one today. I will show you. It's not Tommy, but okay. But this is pretty nice see it it's not bad it looks like leather but it's not it's a hundred percent cotton but it does look like it's leather it's really cool I think I can get 20 bucks for that <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> thirsty it smells like campfire I'm just out making s'mores with the with the boys so we got yelled at because we put the campfire too close to the house women all right this is banana republic i do not pick up banana republic but again if it's a dollar a quarter these were these were only a dollar and they're in really good shape they're just they're, they look like skinny skinny jeans 10 bucks i you know this haul is not looking too bad for $22, I get my money back probably on one item. So these are vintage. I believe they are vintage Calvin Klein. Look at the tag. These were. Look at the tag on that one. Yeah. These were. These were a dollar. So yeah. I should be able to get close to 20 for these. The style's supposed to be coming back. I really don't see it. Um, maybe it came and went already because that's the way it is in this business. You have to keep up. You got to look at the sold listings. 
like I said, the early bird gets the worm, man. You gotta keep, you gotta be on it. If you snooze, you lose. Picked up this nice little Adidas shirt, 25 cents. It's a climb -a cool. So I mean, climb a light. My bad. Climb a cool. Climb a light. Climb a ladder. Ha! How you like that, Manny? My son's in the room with me. I told him to shh. Why? I'm hunting the Wesco with a rabbit. Well, this is cute, though. It's like, you know, it is what it is. It's a little cut off, like, that's a nice shirt. 15 bucks. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I don't know. We'll see. Um, haven't really dealt with this brand yet. I People say it does really well. Zero exposure. But, you know, for 25 cents... I wasn't gonna pass it up. It's just the women's. By the way, a lot of these are women's clothing, which I do not pick up, but there was a lot of women's clothing and it was all a quarter and a dollar, so I jumped on it. I grabbed it up. Um, because I know I'm gonna make money on it. Some of it may sit for a little bit, but it will sell eventually and I will make money on it. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, making money. There it is. Found me a nice little Ralph Lauren Sport got the pony on it that's a bonus where are you at pony there you are <laughs> there you are whenever you see the pony that's good especially for the slacks for the men's jeans women's jeans um, the pony on the back is a is a bonus I would imagine it's just for bragging rights <laughs> you know whatever I don't give a shit Ooh, excuse my language all right there you go um, some people say it does well. I mean, Rockstar Flipper, there's people that, that say that they it does very well for them. Haven't really tried Talbots yet, but this is women. This is petite. Um, bigger sizes um, generally do much better because I would imagine that they're, they're more expensive and harder to find for certain people that are, you know, a little bigger. And, uh, but this is a nice, it's not too bad. It's just a blouse regular button button front button up button down you know I don't know what you want to call it with keywords I'm lost with keywords sometimes I just I'm going with with button front but when you look in this in the in a lot of the sold listings with button front button down um, they're generally the same you get the same amount of, of fun. I, I know I've experienced that I don't know about other people Land's End. Land's End is not a bad brand. It, it, I think it does very well. This is very, very um, good quality cotton. Um, I think it's cotton. It is a cotton, cotton blend. So it's cotton and polyester, but it's very, it's made, it's made really well. But it's a nice little striped blouse. Say it doesn't have a stain on it. That's one thing about this place. I asked the lady, she said anything with stains, we throw it away. So I, I really like to hear that because then I don't really have to look for stains or rips. I can just grab and go. But um 10 bucks, whatever. I'm not trying to get rich off off of this stuff, but um I know I can take $22 and turn it into $250, $350, you know, easy. At least $250. That's not bad for $22, people. Hollister, I really don't grab Hollister, but when it's a dollar, yard sales, yard sales are a really good place to find this stuff, but um, but they're just, they're like capris, you can see, you can't really see, I see my underarms, that's about it, <clears throat> but 10 bucks, whatever, 15, another scrub, I picked up another scrub, Koi, I believe it's pronounced, is it Koi? I think it's Koi. It's K-O-I, but that is... There we are. I got to get used to this camera thing. There you go. Boom. Bam. Large. It's not a bad size. The bigger, the better. I seem to do very well. Yeah, and a lot of mine are set to free shipping, and I ran an auction. So, you know, fool me once, fool me twice. My screen just blacked out. Okay. Uh, are we still recording? This is a long, long video. We're already in 10 minutes. I hope you people can hang, because I can hang all night. All right. 
This is a very nice find. I looked on the rack and I seen I seen Adidas. The only thing it doesn't have a big big old slammy bammy on the back, but it's still it's the whole outfit. Very, very good. It's a women's large. It has the old tag. That's the that's the vintage tag. That's an old tag. That's from the 90s. So that's very good. Very good. Um, it's more desirable. It even has the little the little zipper piece on that. Look at that. Bam! Beautiful. Alright, so there's the not too extravagant, but it'll do well. Here's the pants, there's the tie, the pants. The pants are just, you know, whatever. Where's it at? There it is. I looked at them to make sure that they actually went. I was looking for stripes on the side, which probably would have been a little bit more desirable, but it's still the whole outfit. And there's only one problem. We do have a split. We got a split in the crotch. I'm going to see. I'm going to figure out how I can fix that. It's kind of hard to sew something like that, but because it's, it's sewn on the inside. Like the seam is on the inside, but we'll figure it out. Four bucks for that whole outfit. I can, should. I'm probably gonna run it on an auction. Probably start it at like 25, and uh, hopefully we can get like 50 bucks for it or something. Maybe more, maybe less. We'll see. Um, these are really nice. I think they're just regular Levi's. They are Levi's stretch. They're women's. They're a size 16, so they're a little bigger, but I mean. For a dollar, I wasn't gonna pass them off. They're Levi's, they've got a little, nice little design, little pocket on the back. So, they're not bad, they look really nice. They're in pretty good condition, we'll see. My computer's lagging, I think, or my camera. It is what it is. I gotta get a new one. I think we missed the tie. Oh, we got that extra long tie. Yes, I did. I missed the tie. Another corporate. Another uh, Joseph Bay bag. I don't know about the extra long ones. I think they go for a little bit more, maybe 15 bucks. What's up, homie? Creeping by. You seen him creeping. He was like, creeping on my polo, man. Why are you in my polo sport? This is my son. One of them. He's making comics. I got him some comics. Need a little make your own comics. Got that at the Goodwill. Like 25 cents. But uh, what you make? You made your comic? Ninja! Look! Ninja! Wow! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We used to make the ones when we were kids where you used to take the pencil and roll it back and forth. And the guy'd be like, ah, ah. <laughs> Alright, where was I? Until I was so rudely interrupted. Alright. Look at this. This is new. It's an extra large. It is a new without tags. Polo golf. It is dope. Dope as shit. Um, there you go. I'm going to have to lock the door, so I'll be right back. Okay, your boy is back. What's popping? What's crack -a Uh, Once again, that polo, I, I had noticed that uh it's pretty nice i don't know too much about the color it's kind of like a green color my camera sucks um i'm gonna have to look into getting a better camera and i think it's the lighting a lot i don't think it's the camera i think it's my lighting sucks but it's it sucks for when i take pictures too but i mean i got my my lighting kit it's uh ls photography whatever it's a decent lighting kit it's not a bad kit i've had it for a year and it's uh Hasn't failed me yet, so. Um, but this is what I noticed. It's got the polo on the sleeve. See the little polo? Can't really see it. It's got the little embroidery. Whoop, there you go. Polo embroidery on the sleeve, which is kind of a bonus. Which, um, I picked this sweater up the other day. Anytime you see a polo with a big, big horse on it, you want to pick it up. As long as it ends in that fake shit. That U.S. Polo Association, because that ain't Polo. All right, that ain't Ralph Lauren. All right, here it is. 
picked this up the other day. Got the big polo on it. Where are you at? Where'd you go? There he is. Boom. Big ass polo. Alright. It's got the uh, thermal hood. It's got the big three on the sleeve. And it's got the big rip in the sleeve that I didn't see because my eyes went googly when I seen the hoodie because I got excited. But it is real. I do my homework with stuff because I don't like to, to pick stuff up that ain't real. It's definitely real. I There it is. It's definitely a polo. It's real, but it's got some issues. I didn't see that. I didn't know it was ripped. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. <clears throat> I might just... I'd keep it if it was a large. It's a medium, so it's too damn small. But um, back to the back to the haul. All right. I didn't really see any sport coats. I seen some like Burt Pulitzer, Pul Pul Pulitzer, whatever, however you pronounce that shit. Um, this was not too bad looking. It's a decent. I mean, for a sport coat for a dollar, I'm gonna pick it up. I mean, even at a yard sale, even if it's junk, because I can probably still sell it for. 10 or 15 bucks you can still quadruple mo even more your money so you know after fees and and all that but this was i believe this is a statement i actually did it i just did the research on this let me see if i can get the tag up statement it's actually not a bad brand a suit goes for like 200 bucks i was looking and uh so i mean it's in really good condition it's big it's a 48 the bigger the better. I sell big suits all the time. And I sell one a week now. You know, maybe a couple a week. You know, I don't have that many. I probably have a couple dozen. Because I did buy a lot of them in the beginning and a lot of them are junk. You live and you learn. You make mistakes. So this, I believe, is almost new. I can probably do almost new with this. I don't know about new without tags. I'm not sure. But it's a nice little Nautica. But it is dope. Red, white, and blue. Let me see if I can get it better. It's dope, man. Yeah. What size is it? It's a medium. If it was a large, it'd be in my wardrobe. I got plenty of polos. I'll pay $2 for, for a polo or a Brooks Brothers. I try not to keep too much stuff. I've been keeping some lately. All right, so... We got a couple more. Oh, we missed another tie. Oh, this is the tie I just got today. Here's the tie I got today. Um, can't beat it. It was two bucks. It was half off. It was a dollar. It's a kind of the lower end of Ralph Lauren, like the lowest Lauren Ralph Lauren, but it is Ralph Lauren, so I think it'll do well. It has a very nice, it's a really nice color, like a blue. It's not really a check. It's more of a... I don't know what it is. It's a tie, damn it. But anyway, I did pick up another sport coat. Very nice. Um, once again, it's not really, it's not Ralph Lauren Chaps is not affiliated with Ralph Lauren. Chaps is Chaps. It is not Ralph Lauren, unless it says Chaps Ralph Lauren. But um, this was very nice. This is a blazer, do not confuse a blazer. This is a blazer. With the metal buttons, anytime you see the metal buttons, that is a blazer. That is not a sport coat. That is not a suit jacket. It is a blazer, but it is very nice. It's black. It's in really good condition. It's a decent size. I'm not sure what size it is. Um, I'll tell you in a minute. It is. It's not very big. It's a 42 regular. <clears throat> anything under... Th anything measurements I do all my own measurements and uh, usually with length I do from the neck down there's there's a lot of videos on YouTube you can look up to measure stuff but uh, we won't get into that right now because I think I'm talking my mouth's moving like a duck's ass it does it all the time I drive everybody crazy so you're gonna love me I'm the new guy but uh, anytime you see pink Victoria's Secret you're going to want to grab it up. And this is really dope. I think that some chick is going to really appreciate this. It's got the big pink on the front. It's got like a scoop. This is kind of like a scoop neck, I believe. When it when it droops like that, it kind of looks like an 80s style almost. 
but um, it's dope. It's a pretty dope sweater. I think I should be able to get 20 bucks for that. 15 at the least. I probably want to take less than 15 for Victoria's Secret. Um, and I got some shoes to show you. Let's uh, let's see some shoes. I did get a pick up a hat yesterday. I picked up a little Orioles hat. It's got the trucker design on it. I believe it was like a dollar. It is new. It may be new. It looks new to me. Still got the sticker on it. I did pick up a hat haul back. I'll buy things in bulk if I can. I think I spent a hundred bucks on like 37 hats and I sold a couple hats and got my money back. So I still have hats left. This is one of them. So a lot of them are snapbacks. I'm not really much of a snapback person, but I've been wearing them lately. I'm trying to get into the, you know, into the style, get get with the program. But um, you know, I'm old school, I like fitteds. Little Penn State. This was actually given to me by my pregnant daughter's boyfriend. But uh, somebody's knocking on my door. I'll be back. Yeah, boy. All right, uh, we're back. Back with the Mac in the back of the act, Jack. Um, shoes. Okay, I've recently been doing shoes. I just um, I actually just refurbished a pair of Jordans, a pair of uh. I'm not sure which ones they were. I think they were fours, Jordan fours, but they were authentic. I did pick them up at a yard sale for two bucks. I sold them for 35, and they looked marvelous, like Billy Crystal. Y'all don't know about that Billy Crystal. I'm an old head. I'm 40 years old, but uh, you look marvelous. All right, uh, these are pretty dope. I always pick them up all the time, and I, I give them to my one son. He's got these big ass feet now. He's gonna be wearing my shoes soon. Unfortunately, he's going, but he's like me. He, he won't dick them all up. He'll clean them and shit. But uh, these are nice. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, where's the camera? Over here, over there. There it is, right there. But they're pretty dope. I'm gonna clean them up. They're really not that dirty. But uh, I'm gonna soak the laces in bleach um, with uh, diluted bleach. But um, they'll be nice. I'll, I'll, I'll let you see them when I'm done. But uh, anyway. I did pick up a pair, a couple pairs of shoes. Haven't been doing too well with shoes, except on auction. But um, these are Johnson and Murphy. These are actually. I learned a lot about shoes from your boy, uh, Tino, the Soul Advisor. Check him out. Um, he's got the YouTube channel. He's pretty dope. Uh, I learned a lot from him. I would like to meet all these people, man. That'd be awesome. But you know, a man could dream. But uh, I believe that these go for about 70 or 80 bucks. These are really, these are the slip-ons with the with the booby tassels. See the tassels? No, I'm kidding. They're, they're, they're called tassels. All right. Um, they're a pretty big size. They're a good size. The bigger, the better, I would imagine. I think these are like 11s. These are our 11s. See? Let's see. Yeah, they're size 11. They're a decent size. All right. Okay, Sperry's. Sperry's do well. I think I keep getting them too small. These are women's. These are pretty cool. I just sold a pair of these. Um, these are like kind of like zebra print. But these are the the top siders. You can see inside them. They do need clean, so kind of disregard. They are kind of dirty, but when, when your boy's done with them, they'll be shiny like a hiney. All right. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I'm fucking crazy. All right. Um... Excuse your language. All right, here we go. I picked up another pair. Now I got these at the Goodwill. They were not on sale. They were usually seven ninety five. I usually pay eight bucks for um. These are Bostonians, but they're Bostonian two pod comfort, and they are like new. These are gonna probably do pretty well. They also have the tassels. They're the slip ones. They're pretty nice. They're like a loafer. I'm not sure what the names. I do know them, but. I can't think of them all right off the top of the head. But, um, I think I'll do pretty well with them. Got some more junk for you. You know, we're just gonna keep going with this video. I, you know, I don't care. I got all night. I ain't got shit to do. You ain't got shit to do. All right. I picked these up. They're little Sonic Cares. I think they were like, I paid 50 cents for them. I cannot sell them on Amazon because I am not. I am gated, I guess, in this maybe in this category. I don't know if it's what it is. But um, I got I'm sleeping on Amazon right now. I gotta get on. I I sell stuff all the time. Um, I actually picked up this camera. 
can show you. It's actually not a camera. It's a camera and a dock. Kodak Easy Share. Yes. The camera was 25. It was half off. So half of 25 is what? It is 12.50. Um, the dock was $10, so it was $5. So do 12.50 and five. So it's at 17.50. Um, they go for 200 on Amazon. So there you go. And they're brand new. They were never used. The camera still has the sticker on the, on the screen. And the other, the dock, the dock is brand new too. Still in the bubble wrap. They were never used. There was a note on there that the lady never used it. Um, the only thing is, is that the camera was brought in at a different time. The dock, the docking station was, or whatever that thing's called, it's the, it prints the pictures out. Everything's included. None of the paper, the printing paper, none of it is open. It's all sealed. But um, the camera's not the exact camera that goes to this to the dock. It's a different camera, but it is compatible. So I wrote that in the description so that someone will know, hey, it's all brand new, but it's a different camera included, but it is compatible with that. So that way they know. And I, I actually did um, put the camera on it, make sure that it, it does fit, everything fits. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's keep it moving. Tapes. I'm not too crazy about tapes. I do have a lot of, you don't want me to get into my vinyl. We'll be here all night. But um, I did pick up some tapes, just some random, just whatever. But I picked them up because they're sealed. One of them is actually cracked. I don't know if that happened in my car when I brought it home. But um, I think some of them are religious. This one, I believe, I think I can sell this one on uh, Walk Together. What is it? Walk together, children. It's I guess it's religious, but I think I can sell that one on Amazon. But um, I'm not paying for Amazon. For if you pay the forty dollars, and you don't have to pay for um, the item. They they take a dollar per item every time you sell an item, and then they take a percentage, and then blah blah blah. All these fees. Everybody's got their fees, but you know that's the price you gotta pay. And last but not least video games okay oh here's the laces there's the nike laces i gotta soak them i'm gonna clean them tonight so i gotta finish this shit up <clears throat> i got work to do i got listing okay if you're gonna oops if you're gonna do this you need to list okay you can't just buy the shit let it sit they call it a dead pile you can't let the shit sit you have to list every day at least you know, at least every other day, every, whenever you, if you have the stuff, you need to list the stuff, because if you don't list it, you're not going to sell it. Um, this Tekken, it was $2, half off, no, half off of $3, $1.50, this game goes for 40 bucks. I think it's a little, it's a little scuffed up, but it's got the book, the case is in good shape, everything's in good shape, um, I should be able to get 30 for it, people clean their games, they have... Um, the machines to to clean them up. So if you have games that are scratched, they can be repaired. If they're not, I believe if they're not deep, if they're not real deep scratches. Um, I picked these up. These were all a dollar. They are Skylander. Okay, three of them. I'm not gonna pass video games up when they're a dollar. You know, I have to grab them. They're all in perfect, immaculate shape. They don't sell for much, but if I can turn a dollar into seven, eight. Whatever, every every little bit counts. You know, I have, like I, I have a store, an eBay store. So here's another one, at Just Dance. I don't remember where I got this from. I might have got it at the Goodwill. I might have overpaid for this, but I believe it sells on Amazon for over twenty dollars. It's already listed. The only reason why I grabbed it up. Do your research. Don't buy a bunch of shit that you can't sell. Do your research. I bought all, I bought a haul or not a haul, but I bought a whole lot. Um, well, it sounds funny when you say lot, but it is a lot. Um, I think I bought like ten games, two controllers. I bought all of it for ten bucks. Um, all Xbox, so I paid under a dollar for every single item. But I did get to sing it with the microphone. So I have the microphone and the game. 
listed, but it's not selling. So it will sell. They sell eventually. We'll see. I paid under a dollar for it. So actually, one of the uh, the microphone I didn't pay for because um, he just threw it in. No, he threw a controller in. My bad. <clears throat> one of the controllers was sticky, but when I got it home, it wasn't sticking anymore. So we're good. I sold two controllers. I have two black ones left. So if you go and look at my store, you know, um, Rocks One Boutique. It's uh, uh, eBay Stores, Rocks One Boutique. That's R O C S One Boutique. Um, we got Dance Central, UFC Trainer, Connect Joy Rod. I actually have to list these again because for some reason they got unlisted. It happens when you run auctions, and you know eBay has not worked out some of the bugs. Um, I don't know if it's them or me. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, my name is Rocco. Uh, I live out here in, in the woods in Perry County, New Jersey. I live in Elliottsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, not where I planned on being, for, uh, but that's where I ended up. But hold on. Uh-oh. I forgot about this thing. This is a multi-tap. And what I pay for it? I paid two fifty for it. I believe they're about about twenty bucks. I think I can get twenty for that. I would like to have a PS2. I just sold it. I should have kept it for testing reasons. I paid five bucks for uh, uh, a slim black PS2, and I sold it for thirty-five. No, I sold it for thirty. I think it sold for thirty. But um, the shoes are done. Everything is done. I pretty much. I guess that pretty much wraps it up. I, I showed you what I got. Oh, wait, you know what? I got a couple more items. Okay, your boy is back. I'm gonna show you the last, this is actually a shirt I just picked up. Um, I actually have it hung up. I believe it is new with tags. I don't, a lot of times I'll find shirts and they'll have, they'll have, yeah, I'm wrong. It's got, it doesn't have a dry, cleaning tag but it has a name inside of it so it is actually not new it looks and feels new when people have their clothes dry cleaned it is just it, I believe it preserves them makes them you know but here's the tag Tommy 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 um, shout out to your boy uh, Paul Paul Cantu is it Cantu can do um, you got the Tommy for your mommy he's always saying Tommy for your mommy but um but this is a pretty dope shirt. I like the the style. It's pretty nice. But it is missing a button. And uh, one thing about shirts, it's it's missing a button. If you can see it, it's where's it at? It's right there, right there. There's a button there and there. It actually has two buttons at the top, and one's missing. But um, when you have shirts like this, it's a dress shirt. Not just dress shirts. Sometimes polos. They have extra buttons. You look at the bottom. <clears throat> I had a long day, man. I'm like talking my ass off. Two buttons. There's a small one for the neck, and there's a big one. There's the small one for the neck, and there's the big one for the for the front. But um, I will sew that on myself because Grandma showed me how to sew. And uh, I get my wife to do it, but you know, she'll do it if I ask. Her. But anyway, um. She works hard. She's a nurse. She works at night. So she's at night and I'm recording videos. So, but, all right. So this is actually, I got them over here. If you're wondering what I'm reaching for, I have them on my rocking chair. But um, this is actually a brand that I had never heard of. I actually had to look it up. It is, what is it? It's J. Hilburn. There's the tag. Jay Hilburn. It's actually a beautiful coat, man. It's it's just beautiful and it's big. It's got a nice little check. It's uh it's a hundred percent wool. I think I paid a couple bucks for it. Two fifty three dollars. I don't remember. I, I usually do, try not to pay more than more than six bucks for a sport coat. This is actually when the pockets are sewn, they're still sewn shut. That's a good thing because a lot of times they'll. This actually has the that show that's a indication of a high quality. Hold on, where are we at? Right there. Can you see it? See the? I forget what that pocket's called. That little pocket. I just 
seen it the other day because I just posted one with, with that little pocket. I forget what it's called. Yeah, see, it's where you put your little your little twenty two revolver. Um but no, it's uh I forget what it's called. But anyway, they go for fifty bucks, you know, so that was kinda like a a little bit of a jackpot item. I just moved the camera, my bad. Alright, um another one I like to pick up all the time. Little Brooks Brothers. I'll show you the tag. There's the tag. That's what the tag. Where are you at? There we are. Man, I can't get this coordination going, can I? I'll get it. I'll get used to it. There it is. My bad, guys. I'm I'm no good at this shit. Boom. Bam. Slam. There you go. Alright. But it is a silk blend. Silk blend check. It's got the when it has the little, the other lines in the background, it's usually called a window pane. It's called a window pane, but um, it's pretty nice wool. It's a wool silk blend, but uh, I like it. This one I didn't know they even made sport coats, but I guess they do. Um, but just like the shoes, this is actually 100% cotton, Johnston and Murphy. And this is actually, you know, 30, 40 bucks. I paid a couple dollars for it. Not too bad. But um, this I'd never heard of, but when I looked them up and I seen what they're all going for, I think I paid a couple bucks for this. But this thing is like Bruce Lee, like, I think it's some kind of work gear. It's called All Work, W-E-R-K. But it's like, it's just dope, man. There's the sleeves. It's just like got the... A hundred buttons in the front. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons in the front. It's just ridiculous. I mean, people are probably, people have them listed for 250 So, we'll see. Maybe I need to do a little bit more research. I already have the draft ready. It's ready to list. Um, I think that's about it. Man, this still smells like a campfire, man. It's gonna, I'm going to have to wash that cup, huh? Smells like s'mores. But anyway, like I said, um, this was my first video. It's obviously kind of long. I'm going to edit it all up and chop, 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 chop it up. And uh, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. And subscribe to my video and my, my YouTube channel. And holla at your boy. All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up. That's my first video for YouTube. You know, I know there's other platforms and things that I put it on, but it is a ticket pocket. That is the name of the third pocket on the suit, jacket, blazer. And uh, everybody just uh, get out there and get searching, get looking, yard sales, thrift stores, you know, um, People go to auctions, whatever it is, whatever you need to do, whatever your reason is to resell, to make some money, to go to Disney World, whatever you want to do with your family. But um, I do it for a living, I do it full time, so I got bills to pay, so it's hustle and bustle every day. Um, I try to make some time for my family, that's very important to make time for your family um, as much as possible. I mean, but when it, when it comes down to it, you know, you're doing it for your family, so. It's, it's a lot of work involved, depending on what you're doing. I do clothing mostly, so it's a lot more work. But um, thanks for stopping in. Once again, all the music, everything that you hear in the background is produced, written by me. Um, I also have a Reverb Nation. Uh, my name is Rock Dog. It's R-O-C, dollar sign, D-O-G. I kind of don't really do music anymore. I'm getting too old for that shit. But um, I like to record... A little bit more, I need to get a better microphone. I actually have my microphone uh, up for sale right now. I'm getting rid of it. But anyway, thanks for stopping in. God bless. And uh, just keep grinding, man. Keep grinding.